All right, guys, simple video. I'm going to keep it really quick. I'm going to teach you guys how to install a power supply into uh, a case because it's really, really easy. Some people don't want to do it because they don't know how to do it, but uh, there is absolutely nothing to it. So uh, I'm going to start you off uh, with the case. I'm going to show you uh, what it comes with uh, right over here. A little packet of screws, very important. Make sure you get these now. A power supply takes four screws exactly to uh, install into a case. And basically those four screws are gonna go right here. You're gonna sit it into your case and it's gonna line up with four holes that are on the outside and these uh, four screw holes right here are gonna take the screw. And that's basically how you hold it in. It's all held in uh, off this one side. It kinda just like hangs there. Uh, now there's two types of cases. There's ones that have the PSU at the top of the case and there's ones that have it at the bottom. Uh, we're gonna work with one of the bottom ones. Uh, and I'm gonna use an Ultra, uh, I believe it's the uh, M923 case, pretty nice little case here. Ugh, bring it up, kind of a heavy one. Uh, all right, no, here we go, here we go. Bottom of the case, like I said, there's two types, top, bottom. Either way, it's hanging off of this one edge right here by four screws. Uh, the hardest part is connecting everything and disconnecting everything, everything else is cake. Uh, so basically, here's how it goes. If you have a PSU already in your computer, you need to follow this, I'm gonna keep this so simple so that nobody can mess it up. You follow this uh, ribbon that comes out of the back and you unplug everything, okay? Everything gets unplugged. So that basically you can remove your old PSU and take it all out and have nothing connected to the motherboard or the case. You want everything out. If you take everything out, you're sure that you don't need to worry about which ones you do or don't need to take out. You just take them all out because you can't, you know, you can't mess that up. Uh, second step is putting it in. Now there's a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, they have fans, they need to be cooled. They get, the fans increase speed as you take more watts from the power supply uh, to keep the components inside cool and from failing. So you definitely need to make sure that you're pointing the fan in the right direction. Now basically 99.9% uh, .9 of the power supplies out there are gonna suck cool air in, hot air out. You basically need to understand uh, that wherever you put the fan, it needs to be facing a direction where it can get a source of fresh air. Now in this case, uh, they kind of gave you this little grill at the bottom here. See that right there? Uh, basically, that's going to give you the ability to put it facing down, and it's still going to get air from right underneath it. So we're going to go ahead and put it in. All right, so here's the part where you kind of want to make sure uh, that you keep your fingers safe. A lot of these uh, cases, they have sharp edges. Uh, but basically, all you're going to do is slide your power supply in. Okay, On this particular case, it's going to sit on top of the rails. And you're going to note uh, that when I move it over, these holes are lining up. It means that you can put a screw through there. Uh, very, very simply. Uh, they just line up. All you need is a regular screwdriver. Uh, you don't need to worry about, uh, you know, grounding yourself out like you do when you install, you know, motherboards and CPUs and memory because this is not going to affect, nothing's going to blow out. Uh, but basically, you just grab your screws and screw them in, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next step. Now for simplicity's sake, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the install outside of the case so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm not going to show you everything, but I'm going to show you the two hardest ones, uh, which are going to be your graphics cards and your motherboard. Uh, the hard drives, I mean really, just plug it in. Uh, plug in your hard drives, one goes to the motherboard and one goes to the power supply. Uh, but I do want to show you a little bit about the 24 pin and the 20 pin and the 12 volt connector for the CPU as well as your PCI Express. Now, real quick, uh, take a look right here. This is your uh, 24 pin connector. Now, some, other, uh, some power supplies have a 20 pin, some have a 24. Corsair is smart enough to give you a 24 pin modular so you can do either or. That means you're not limited, you don't have to worry about what type of motherboard you have. You just buy the power supply, you know it's going to fit. And this is where you're going to put it. This is your 24 pin motherboard connector, so basically uh, it's just going to go right in. Now you're going to notice it does have a little latch uh, right there, and that's going to catch the little lip right here. The other side is smooth, this side has the lip, uh, and you're just going to plug it right in. That is the most important connection. This is what gives power to your motherboard. The second most important connection uh, is this one right here. This is the 4 pin or the 12 volt. Uh, now it's either a 4 pin or an 8 pin. Newer motherboards have 8, uh, more powerful ones have 8, some even have 16, but the majority have eight, and some of the older, simpler motherboards only have four. Uh, that one is going to be found over here on the top left corner of most of your motherboards. If you're buying a high-end power supply, you're probably also buying a high-end motherboard, uh, and they're usually going to be in the same spot. This one's an eight, and it's elevated, so it's really cool. It's really easy to get to. Again, same thing. Little lip on one side, flat on the other. You're basically going to put them both together, slide the whole thing in. Make sure it locks down, and I give it a little extra press just to be sure. You know that it's locked down. That handles that. 
Last but not least, we are going to install uh, the, the graphics card power. Very simple. You're going to look at the one that says PCI Express. Again, one of these uh, is a six pin and the other one is a two breakaway. So when you put the two together, you get eight. So you may want to make sure you don't confuse this one for the 12 volt power supply. You'll see it. It's going to say PCI Express. It's going to be labeled. Uh, very simple. All you're going to do is after you've installed your graphics card, you're going to go ahead and find the PCI Express power input. That's where you're going to stick it. Uh, and it's basically going to go right in there. Now, some of them require two of these. Some require two eight pins, two six pins. You've got to do whatever it takes. So uh, if you have a six pin, only put in a six. So I'm going to go ahead and peel back two. Now I have only a six. And plugging it in again is the same as just everything else. There's a little lip right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's very hard to see in this picture because it's, uh, it's dark in here. But there's a little lip right there. So I'm going to go ahead, plug it in, make sure it seals. You know, it's nice and snug. And you're going to see that there it is. It's ready to go. It's plugged in. Uh, the other end obviously is going to go to your power supply, or it's going to be coming out of your power supply, depending on whether you got a modular power supply or not. Uh, but those are the two hardest ones. Besides that, it's plugging in hard drives, which are really, really easy. It's very, very, very simple. So uh, don't be afraid to upgrade to your power supply. There's a lot of good reasons. Uh, definitely go with a good brand like Corsair uh, and follow the directions I just showed you on plugging everything in. It's really, really easy. Uh, anybody can do it. People think that building computers is hard, but it's not. So give it a try. And if you have any questions, of course, you can always email me. I'll see you guys next time.